What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's Tom Diesel here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about one of the topics that I discussed uh, earlier. And uh, today, this is a part two. And uh, today's topic is gonna be how to grow a small account. Last uh, video I did on that was, uh, I basically explained in details uh, the two setups that I like the most. Yeah, first of all, the edge, right? The edge is uh, what I've been, uh, you know, discussing uh, in the first video. And uh, those are the low hanging fruit and the death line. So today I'm not gonna go uh, into that uh, more. But the first uh, thing here is, uh, if you want to grow account, right? If if, if you want to grow a small account, right? You need to have an edge. It's like you need to know what you're looking for, right? And uh, same thing I you know mentioned, um, you know, preaching about daily. Think about it as a business. When you open a business, you want to have some sort of product that could sell, right? And once you kind of do research, and once you found the key products that a lot of you know customers or a lot a lot of people are buying it so you're gonna just stick to that product only right so same thing here with trading and that's uh you know that's our edge right the playbook the setup whatever you want to call it but basically going into the market every day and when you know what you're looking for it becomes much more easier right instead of you know showing up to the market and don't have any idea at all it's like uh, you're gonna do random trading boredom trading and uh, you know revenge trading whatever uh, it's like showing to the market and you uh, you are like uh, I'm gonna trade you know on a fly let's see what markets gives me right let's see you know I'm just gonna trade anything that pops or anything and you know I'm, I'm just gonna buy any dip it's like any support line but you know it doesn't work like that so that's why we have an edge and the playbook and all the, the setup what you want to call it and you want to label them I don't know a B C or D it's it's really up to you the second part here is the stats and a lot of people asking me about uh, how I kind of uh, track my setup uh, it's like uh, I've, I've been telling uh, you know to people that uh, if you want to track your setup right so let's say you have a two setup low hanging fruit and a death line so what what you want to do is let's say you're gonna do 100 trades uh, on the low hanging fruit right just do that 100 trades and you know, and then you see the outcome of 100 trades and uh, after that you have some sort of data to kind of uh, you know uh, for you there to look at right out of 100 trades and you know, I'm uh, Profitable or like I'm winning like 70 or 80 of them So that's the edge is like 70 or 80 percent, right? Then you have something to build from and from that you're gonna you know track each and sing and you know each and every one trade uh, each and every single trade to uh, to know where you can you know improve to know where you can you know add more size on it's uh, but that's basically the tracking uh, that's basically how I do uh, track my my setup or track my edge it's like uh, you know I'm, I'm not Joe but uh, it's like uh, I'm, I'm just putting them into a trade view and you know Excel sheet or whatever I just I'm, I'm saving charts as well to you know uh, basically it took a, a screenshot of that and and try to look at my entries and exit and when you have that uh, the pack or like the the data uh, you know as a whole and then you can see it you know much better instead of you just took one trade or two trades uh, and then 
you said you know all right so this is not for me i'm i'm not going to uh trade this uh and the next you know morning uh, you want to trade something else and you know you always keep changing the strategy but without actually going into you know a details about it but you need to give it you know you need to give the edge a little bit of time right uh we need the samples for us to decide you know if this is you know the setup for you or not but if you know it's just uh if you don't have enough samples uh, then how can you know right so and and the most important number regarding the stats for me is uh you know on a trade view and this is the kind of key numbers for me to look at is my average winners compared to the versus uh you know to the average losers right as long as i have that you know twice or three times larger it's like as long as my average winners right two or three times bigger than my average losers right that's where i'm profitable you know i don't care about the win rate You know, I've seen a lot of people who has, you know, nice sick, you know, win rates is like 90%, but it's like their winning rate is good, but uh, you know, when the trade is in their favor and then they usually cut it too fast, but their average losers are, you know, two or three or five times, you know, more than their average winners. And that's what's going to define if uh you uh you are going to make it you know in this game or not that's uh, that's what's is going to define if you are profitable or not based on that because uh when you have a losing day it shouldn't be you know it shouldn't be more than i mean one or two days work like n- n- like normally right so if i have like one losing day and uh, i i post my numbers as well you guys can see i have really you know tiny small losing days i mean it is you know kind of mental you know like the last uh, two or three days now uh, i've been really struggling with uh, uh you know with the uh, trading because uh, not because of my pnl but it's like basically my mental capital uh, it's it's basically you know gone because uh, you know i i couldn't find a good setup i i, I couldn't you know basically make the money but I always stuck to my risk management and I want to keep them small. When I'm not in the zone, I want to keep them really small. So when I'm back on track again, so I can make that uh, back in like one or two days. So that's basically our goal, right? Our goal as a trader is to minimize the loss, minimize the drawdown. And when you know, you know when we get our confidence again and we're gonna uh you know size up and or like uh, take advantage of that but uh as i explained in my previous post as well your confidence you know when you're losing right your com- you didn't lose your confidence if you have the consistency before if you have the consistency for the last month or two or like three you didn't lose your confidence but, but your confidence get transferred to another trader you know that's all there is you know that's all why we are Uh, struggling when uh, the losing day but you know think about of a bigger picture right you not in the zone today you lost the confidence right so just step back relax take a deep breath and you know come back next day just take what process gives you so uh yeah so regarding the stats those are the biggest you know number that i'm looking at uh you know my average losers uh, uh no my average winners compared to average uh, you know losers that's what's going to define uh whether or not i'm uh you know profitable in the long term right so that's uh, you know the really the stats or the number you should look at the consistently profitable traders are the ones that have the process down right and they've been sticking to that day in and day out they've been waking up every morning doing the same process the same routine every day and they try to make one good trade they they trying to make uh uh you know a great plan and they not focusing on their pnl they just you know completely focus on their process so define what is your process you know the edge the playbook and you know if stock did that and do that i'm i'm going to short it you know 
uh, you know, could be like a process not shorting in the pre-market, right? You know, whatever the process, uh, your the, the process might be, have it written down. Uh, try to stick to that or try to follow that as, you know, the rules uh, and as your guidelines. Uh, to me, this is more of the foundation, right? My foundation. And once I build the edge, when I have the, my playbook, when I have my my stats, once I know the risk and reward, risk management, when I know, uh, you know, sizing, we want to really... It's like this. As a trader, I really want to operate in a steady, stable, you know, mind. Or like, you know, I want to be my P&L curve. I, I, I want to be, you know, really steady uptrending, right? I don't want any problems or obstacles to stay in the way. Or I don't want any huge jump or to kind of disrupt my profitability on my psychology right All right guys uh, have the good sunday and let's get ready for next week uh, you know trading uh, i see you guys on the next one take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here